Fantastic show. First, shout out to my homeboy Asal. He definitely in the building. He uh, over here with the rest of our guests abusing drugs. <laughs> I must put that out there, man. We are on the show. I'm shout out to my buddy Asal, man. I'm glad he's glad he back in town. Keep the pressure. Last time he was here, people was asking pressure. when he is coming back. You know that? Was people was asking when he is coming back. He should have been here for the one I, show. I told him which one? The one where you uh. Public executed. He could have been the on brothers. He the ex brothers. Like, he got next. He, he got, got next. next. He got next. He's sitting there, seat talking that bullshit. But no, shout out to the side. That's my nigga. I, hey, they they was acting about him. I had to tell him that to boost his ego. Cause I was like, you gonna sit in? Mm -hmm. He kind of hesitated. I was like, they was asking about you. Uh, I knew what button to push. Yeah. He smiled a little bit. He said, he said, let me go get this pressure. I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout out, but in addition to uh, these two jigaboos. We got, we got two lovely lady, ladies right here sitting at the table. Shout out to Sabrina. Sabrina, I don't, she got a name that's cool enough where you ain't gonna say the last name. Both of them. Sabrina and Kalisha with tours. Them like star studded name, even a side. Kinda like Corey. We need your whole last name. We need your whole no. name, nigga. <laughs> you know, very fucking plain. You know what I'm saying? Like, no effort putting the name in you. But, <laughs> but shout out to, we got Sabrina and Kalisha. Kalisha's the head of uh, the Manor Models. Um, they've replaced Black Tails. Did they? <laughs> no. That's what's up. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> that, you gotta be sick. Yeah. To know what Black Tails is, but um, she got a model. We're gonna talk more about that because I don't want to explain the shit that I don't hey, actually know. Yeah, go ahead. You can introduce yourself. Yeah. This is Kalisha Hayes. And remember, we said that you can't be trying to talk cute. Yeah, you gotta talk. Going to mic check. I gotta be louder. I was just messing with you. Oh. But we up here, man, they uh <laughs> they got what is it? I told y'all I ain't there for the look cool. I took my glasses off so I can't see that. Bay Bridge so. Moscato. What is it? No, Moscato. we don't talk we don't get no uh, money. Oh yeah. Food. Wait till we get syndicated. They wanna pay us for endorsements. <laughs> right. They have, they have, some, they have a bottle with X L X X on X it. <laughs> like on the car <laughs> side. <laughs> we got this. Yeah. <laughs> they got wine. They got yeah. some wine. Wine. And Corey is a wine connoisseur, I just found that out tonight. I took wine tasting in college. But like I said, we're going to talk uh, more about Easter. her brand, Demeanor Models. Um, it's obvious what it is. Mm -hmm. we'll get so more many in, models. We'll get more into it, the details about uh, how it came into fruition, whatever. And in addition to this, they have a very lost friend named Nemo. Or Dory. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's Dory. lost. Yeah. So we're trying to find Joy. 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 Find Joy. Joy. Find Joy. Joy. Please. Sabrina is one of my models and also like my manager, Cole. Teammate here. That's right. She helps me out. I'm just here to help. That's all. Moral support. That's what's Miss up. Miss October and our demeanor models. Matter of fact, calendar. Sabrina, can we get you to move next to Corey so you can share that mic? They're going to be like, what's my whispering? We ain't hear shit they were saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, who? They're like a ghost or some silly shit. You can move you can that chair. Right chair. Because you, you kind of short. Yeah, you got to be really I know. It's that little chair. I'm over here. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> Corey, what's happening with you, man? You know, we always kick it off. How your week been so far? Oh, you man. Know, your Monday and Tuesday. It's been cool. It's been cool. Brought me a new mattress the other day. And we will not go there. This show is not that boring <laughs> to talk about you purchasing the mattress. No, I got to say. It is not. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't say what it is. Nah, you know, just regular weekend. Went out, shot some pool, played some doors this weekend. I mean, shit, just normal shit. You know, who? How was your weekend? My esteemed cohort. My weekend was cool. Uh... Every time, like every Monday, I draw a blank or Tuesday, I draw a blank mm -hmm. on like how, like the details of my weekend. Like I'm very uneventful. Like, uh, the, oh, I watch some great fights. Yeah, so, I know like, boxing. If you, if, you, if you a boxing fan, you got to see some great fights. But aside from that, man, I ain't get into too much. Uh, see, I want to embellish a little bit. I went. Uh, I jumped out of like seven airplanes. <laughs> I jumped out of seven airplanes, like one onto the other one. Ah, that's what's and up. And after the seventh one. I was ground level, so I didn't have to use my parachute. Ah, that's, that's, that's how cool that's my That's amazing. Do what uh, Bow Wow do. You could Photoshop yourself. And Bow Wow shit. was lying. He was lying. I'm telling the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, we're going to have a fantastic show. I was going to say that earlier. Uh, 
And, you know, we always kick it off with what's going on in, in, in the news, pop culture, things of that nature. Uh, this, I'm sure this is, and I always ask the guests this, because I know that nobody likes me. How many times <laughs> have you listened to this show? When you first had it at the uh, studio, okay. I listened to it a lot. The but studio. since you've had it here, I've only listened to it like once or twice. I can go for that. I can go for that because she at least, uh, my la- one of my last guests two weeks ago said, is this the show? Is this the show? Is this the <laughs> show? And I was like, I said, this is why I deleted my Facebook. Nobody paid me any attention. He put, he put her out, be a show. I said, this is insane. I was yeah. like, where's the love? Now I'm just bullshit. Hey, where's the love? Nobody so likes good. me. But um, I used to have fun with that at the show, 317. Moving along. Moving along. What's happening, man? What we got popping up in the news? Hey, let's go. First off, first off, I'll be remiss if I didn't say this. Shout, man, I'm going to tell you, man. Like, when I deactivated my Facebook, I found out that a uh, uh, little cool dude that I knew passed, when I passed away, he got killed. He got shot over on 38th and, um. The 15-year-old post. boy? No. Okay, I don't no. know no 15-year-olds. I'm cool with cool. I have no 15-year-old friends. <laughs> I thought you might knew his parents or something. No, no, this uh, my buddy, his name was Jason McNeil. It was pretty sad, man. Like I found out through somebody because I got on my my Facebook. But he was a young, super cool dude. I mean, like super. I had an issue with his cousin, but the issue with me and his cousin didn't. Yeah. Like That's I didn't have a up. concrete relationship, but we was on good speaking terms. Mm-hmm. And he was a person who just sat around talking about his daughter all day. You know what I'm saying? So it really shocked me that he was uh, taken away in such a violent manner. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I just want to uh, wish him well on his journey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would have felt bad if I didn't give him some kind of recognition because he was a real cool dude. And, Oh, it's extremely sad to hear that news. Yeah, so, you know, so that's not down. something that you want to hear, man. It's a young person, man, like 25 years old. Ah, uh, yeah. But, yeah, man, uh, aside from that, what's the news we got going on right now? Uh, let's start with these uh, this bullshit women out here and the Nelly update. So, last week we talked about Nelly who was accused of a s- forcing a- himself. Uh, suspicious of second degree. Put a woman in the head like a Mary listening hot in here in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> she got an ear infection. Yeah. Tip no, she said, yeah, tip drill. Tip drill. He tip. tried to swipe a rejected credit card through her butt. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, he tried. Like a classic scene. But yeah, well, well, he got accused of rape. Yeah, well, suspicious of second degree rape. Hmm. And I don't even know, like, what's the gr- degrees what's the to rape. rape? Yeah. I don't know what's the level. Right. First degree. First degree. First degree, you just take the pussy. What's second yeah. degree? Second degree <laughs> is punch her along with it, the It was consensual, but she might have been drunk. Is that for real? That's what. That's what. That's what they. That's what the rest was. Suspicion of second degree rape in Washington State is two people had sex, but it might not have been consensual. Cause she might have been too drunk to consent. He might have been too drunk. So he could possibly be a victim. Not by the government's standard. Yeah. So Cause she said yes. Yeah, she went on there. She found that tour bus at Walmart and went on there and gave him some pussy. Anyway, then where was this at? Washington. Washington. That's why I'm going to Washington. That's why, <laughs> That's why I say the fuck away from Washington. Yeah. <laughs> but what you say though? So the other day she uh, told the police that she don't want to pursue charges no more because she felt that she's gonna be a victim. Furthermore, be a victim in this situation because. She said she don't want, like going through the whole hassle. Like when you tell somebody they raped you, they want to interview you and grill you like you lying. Then you got to go to the hospital and take this rape kit. She didn't want to do all that. She just wanted to see justice served. And so she feels since Nelly has a bunch of money and is a popping artist. These are her words. Like the nigga still making CDs. Like, she felt First she, off, I told her to shut the fuck up because he hasn't been popping for at least five years. <laughs> yeah. I told her to shut up right there. Yeah, yeah. And so she like she's not gonna go further. She told him she's not showing up to testify. She ain't speaking no more, no more deposition. And of course, the police said we still gonna pursue. Shout out to Joy. She's definitely in the building. <laughs> hey Joy. I don't know you. Hey. We heard so much about you in your. Uh, yeah, man. Your, your they said you always like, follow directions. Okay. Oh, oh, well, journey here. Yeah. They say they say you a different time than everybody else. Shout out to the rude ass aside. <laughs> Shout out to the rude ass aside. No, but uh, Nelly, oh. Nelly, uh, yeah. So Nelly, uh, he's she, like he's still rolling, doing their tour, singing, you know, the Lambo <coughs> number hey. one and shit. Why would you? It's a female. Like if you pursuing. A red case, why wouldn't you go, go through the necessary steps? Because she didn't get raped. Right. Exactly. She that just, just yeah. makes her faulty. What is that? Very, it makes very her faulty. 
Have you ever like got raped and recanted? Talking to four. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure a woman has forcefully made me have sex with her. Like I probably said no. And <laughs> do you think you <laughs> vocalized enough? Raped then because you were probably suspicious drunk. of second. Yeah, I don't know if I could send it. Like I don't remember. But like, how did it make you feel? I mean, y'all bringing up old wounds. From, uh, we just trying to heal you, that's all. Uh, okay. But no, nah, no, I probably was raped. Right. I don't want to talk about it. No, nah, I want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever been raped by a woman? No, I'm always willing to go. Yeah, I, yeah. Very Pretty vulnerable. Pretty much me too, yeah. yeah. Very vulnerable. You said hashtag me too then? I'm easy. Yeah, Blow on my ear and shit, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I get this little nervousness and shit. And yeah, you ain't got you know, I wake up and I don't know what happened. You ain't got used to car ride and gas trick on me. No one to believe me. No one to believe me. Yeah. Oh, shit, he's easy. I had him last week. I'm just playing. Joy. But, uh. Um, the bartenders are in the building. Yes. The bartenders are, but like, man, that's sad though, man. Like on on either side to where she could feel like even if even if she was a victim, taken advantage of, like yeah. she would have to recant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how powerful is the scrutiny when no one even knows your name? Yeah. So it's like it's the, always woman, twenty one year old. The first saying? statement she put out there, she she been getting bullied online, and no, no, I'm saying she ain't better. To operate like she wanted to, but all the press release was she's a 21 year old uh, female in the state of Washington. Never said her name or nothing. So she like people be so thirsty for fame. She probably came home like they watching TV like you hear about the hell he raped somebody. <laughs> Bitch, guess who it was? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. be time like she's want some money. Then Girl, you're a hoe. Yeah. yeah, girl, shut your whole ass up. <laughs> it's a sad situation. I'm, I'm ashamed of you for making light of it. <laughs> but I also feel like she need to get she need to get booked for a night or something. Like something needs to happen to these women with these false accusations. Like what would you recommend? Jail time. How much? Like if what? you like if you falsely accuse somebody rape, how much time? Should personally, you I feel you should get what the dude's gonna get in jail. Like if he's gonna get three years for raping you, you should serve three years for lying, saying he raped you. And that would discourage any other chick want to come forward with false. Accusations. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do you recommend? Possibly. Like, what do you think? Possibly. Yeah. Should happen to women who falsely. Oh, you should charge them to file their charge. Tell them um, it's a cost to file this charge. That they have to stop go it. through the necessary steps to prove it, and they should have some repercussions. How can they you don't prove rape? Right? Yeah. Like, how can you? Prove I it? guess the little rape test. But the rape no, test. I'm not like asking you like you got the answer, but I'm, that's rhetorical. Like, how does a person prove rape? Like, it, like <sighs> semen and right. stuff. See, this is the this we're live, yeah. and my daughter in here acting like a creep. Torres, <laughs> what you want, man? The iPod, the iPad is in there waiting on you. Okay, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, um, like how like how did you prove yours? What my rape? I never been raped. I, I always been going. If she, See, I, she you change your story. He she, he I've been saying I was I was no, just fucking around. Said you heard. I ain't never been raped. You said she had you in the head. <laughs> yeah, I've been, been falsely accused or something, but yeah. I ain't never been raped. We talked about this. I before. forgot. Yeah, I've been falsely accused. Not of rape. Well, nigga, we, we talking about uh, rape. Yeah. You gotta be clear, nigga. I'm, I'm speaking. Of, I'm here from I, say you, ladies I say here. you falsely accused somebody. I talk so about that. That's it. Ah, nah. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm always going. Shout out to Nelly. Uh, you probably want to go to the lottery with this string of luck you have and go to the studio. Because he's about to lose some sponsors and everything. Well, who's our sponsor now? His uh, girlfriend got a show coming on. Yeah. It, and they, they put a hold on it, the Miss Jackson chick. Oh, yeah. And they put a hold on it once that accusation came. Yeah. Wow. I told you, like, Kevin Hart lost some sponsors. Like, they, they're they not bullshit. with these yeah. people. Man, any... Because they... It's a uh, code of conduct clause in all these contracts. And, and mm-hmm. it's funny that you mentioned this because we just mentioned the fact that Gucci man got a Reebok deal. Re- got a Reebok deal. So I need, I need some clarity. And he went to prison of- and got rehab. Like, that's what they go to prison he for, He just got right? out of jail. That's judge. what they say. Yeah. No. But do you really think prisons are rehabbing or are it just free labor? Free labor. He got an attempt murder and a Reebok deal. And Nelly had an attempt rape and, and he was going to lose his team. And, 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 and he also killed the nigga. And he threw a chick out the Hummer. That's what he's... Yeah, that's what he's... I can't wait for. to see his Reebok commercial. Oh, boy. There's going to be some crazy shit going on in there. Well, he took all the gold out and everything. Yeah. Everybody think he a clone. He, he got his tattoos. Yeah, nah. that's what's going around here. Everybody do think yeah. he a clone. Yeah, he took out shit. You know what? Baby took all this <laughs> uh, platinum out the other day. I believe all kinds of fantastic shit. I believe, like, you tell me some weird shit, I'm not going to say, yeah, you know. 
Yeah. But I want to know more. I don't just dismiss nothing. But when you tell me that Gucci Mane's a clone, and I'm like, you yeah, really I can't waste just your tax, yeah. taxpayer dollars on this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> <And> all <laughs> people. Did you really waste <laughs> taxpayer dollars to make another one of these niggas yeah. and shit? All you had to do is make a man a lady in a crack pipe. <laughs> These Gucci's all over. You yeah, know what he, I'm he had a show and a tennis shoe deal. Yeah, shout out to Gucci. And he here get married today. Yep. On today. TV. It's today. I thought so. Today the season. He's is incredibly today. finessing today. the game. Ah, mm-hmm. he finessing the hell out of the game. When he, what, was, what was his first hit? Icy. Yeah, yeah, so icy. When he made that icy, I said, this little retard ain't gonna be yeah, shit. Man, and he killed the nigga. I said, he, I said he'll yeah. never amount to anything. And look at me, Real doing crazy. a podcast in my kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch what you say, what you say about niggas. Oh, you know, hey, Gucci, if you need somebody to talk at your wedding, I'm here. Yeah. I doubted you, but it wasn't personal. The song was horrible. <laughs> what we got next? Uh, I want to stay on the topic of rape and groping. We can go to Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. Do y'all know Harvey Weinstein? Have y'all heard about this? I've been seeing the little she emblem on movies, movies, but not for yeah. sure which movies it is. Oh, he got but movies. they need to do him like they did Bill Cosby. Cosby. Like he's, not, up. he's not as lovable as Bill Cosby. We heard yeah. Bill it Cosby. Don't matter. We, I mean, it matters because the celebrity status and the tone of his skin. Yeah, it it just, matters. I, mean, I know that, if but. If gonna kill somebody, then like they're gonna Like if you drag Harvey Weinstein, like, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that affect? Like we don't, like, we don't, we don't like community get affected when our stars get fucked up. Right. <laughs> like one nigga get fucked up, they fuck up the world. Like Jose yeah, was yeah. in that Bronco and shit, nigga, my heart was pounding. Boy. You know what I'm saying? When our killer was pissing on that girl and shit, I had to pee. I identify <laughs> my superstar. <laughs> I identify my superstar so much, man, that when they fall, they hurt me. So when Bill calls me, I'm like, I tried to find every reason in the world why he should have been able to rape them bitches had he raped them. Yeah, I, still I don't tried think to justify did. that shit in my head wrongly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, cause we all love Cliff Huxtable. Like, you know like the episode saying? with Chappelle when they had him sitting on the track, like, oh, uh, Banana, Banana, yeah, he shot that no, nigga. No, Beretta. He Beretta, he said, yeah, Beretta, shit. he did that but, shit. Like, we, we the only people so attached, and that's because we all been thrown in that same group. Mm-hmm. Like, we yeah. already been. Like, we not, we identify with everybody because 9 to 10, they came from the same struggle. So we always want to see the best in him. On the other side, Weinstein, he's a... Uh, they say he created the uh, he's casting Jewish. couch. They say he's, he created the, the term casting couch. Mm-hmm. He had a hell of a plan once he got you on there. But nah, he's definitely ahead of the game. So you know he owns a company with his brothers, and they tried to fire him on Monday. His brothers tried to fire him? Yeah. They did fire him, didn't no, they? Nah, they can't fire him. He has an ironclad <laughs> contract with them that there's a clause in there if he does harass women... He just have to pay the fine. You had a hell of a history wow. for yeah. a motherfucker to put that in your well, contract. Yeah. Wow. Harvey, I know what you be doing to these. <laughs> so Harvey, look, man, they, you want to be part of this? Way, you sign this on a dotted line. Only home. way they can fire him <laughs> is buy him out of his um contract. his ownership of the company. So are you for real, Rick? I'll tell mom. I swear to God, I'll tell fucking mom. Yeah. Go, if you fire me, I'll tell mom. Go ahead, you little fuck ass. That's probably what they told. But yeah, he got a clause that can't fire him for anything that's sexual assault or groping related. Damn. In short, fuck Harvey. Damn. He has nothing to do with us. I Shame. hope they throw the book at him. Shame. Hit him. He, he had sex or he had. He went to the same one Eric Benet yeah. went to. Sex. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Eric Benet. Shout out to Eric Such a terrific father. <laughs> Lovely young daughter. Yeah. He let Halle Berry put it through that. Yeah. yeah. Halle it Berry was Halle Berry fault. Stressed him out through that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Drove him to go see somebody else. Yeah. 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 He had to watch <laughs> Monsters Ball. Yeah. Poor. Poor Eric. I ain't seen him on TV. Let's see him on YouTube. I only yeah. see him on YouTube. That's such a beautiful voice. Boy. Pause. Boy, I thank you. Yeah. What we got next? Since we on Harvey Weinstein, you know the black chick, Sonny Anderson, from the Cooking Network. See, this is where my cool was. <laughs> this is my cool will not allow me to go. I've never watched the Cooking. The, the coolest motherfucker on the Cooking Channel was the one who said, "Get my chicken, niggas." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Watch the TV, get my chicken niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's all I knew. Her and Emerald. Ah uh, yeah, Emerald from New Orleans. Shout out to Emerald. New Orleans in the house. A yeah. shot. Emerald the best. But uh so Sonny Anderson, everybody been tweeting out that they've been brave for telling on Harvey Weinstein. Fuck that. It's, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. I don't mean to interrupt, but I yeah. am. I don't know if y'all heard about this. Did y'all hear about Terry Cruz? 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he is part of that. This this yeah. target with the Harvey Weinstein like, so yeah, this guy came, came for he came, came out forward. on Twitter or something and said that he was broke by somebody at a dinner party. Oh, he was molested. He was molested. At the award show. Yeah. He was terrible. As an adult. As an adult. There's no difference. Yeah, girl. There's no difference. He's forty five percent fag now. But listen, he does. So it happened by man. Assistant group is yeah. one time. They say, uh, cute less three. But he, a yeah. group is like if you grab, yeah, and like you get for like a lifetime. <laughs> I take time. He said they was at a dinner party. Him and his wife and a known producer or whatever. It's supposed to be a big shot. Big yes, shot. Grabbed him by his stuff. Yes. Nine twenty five. Oh my god. And he did. Yeah, he that. just That's, stood there. But was right? that the only answer? And he took it, for lack of a better term, like a man. Well, why I would you else? do that? Was that he came up to him with his pattern? wife. Yeah. He's oh, talking. Wow. He's talking to his wife. This is fresh out of the NFL, Terry Crews. But too. he would always get that happen. That would always happen to him every morning. Yeah. Why would he that? seen Terry Crews percolating all the time, so he thought I'll try this nigga. Yeah. Like, see him do I'm white shit. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's about to be some serious buck breaking on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You yeah. out here all friendly, all that. He, he, he. I thought he. Was, if I'm the fag, I'd have tried him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. He seemed inviting. He shaved his ass and shit had a dick all the time. But, but they had the bar, and he didn't say nothing because he said that he thought that it would ruin his uh, Cur- career. acting career. Yeah, I'm like. He said, shit, I ain't tapping when, the niggas no when, more. When do you put a mm. job or a career in front of your manhood? Yeah. In front of, and, and you're not just sitting around here. She, your wife is right here. Now, look. At that hey, 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 Edna, I need you need to go cook or something. You let that nigga grab your dick, you try to tell me to cut it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm like, you like, there's no respect. <laughs> yeah. There's no respect. Hey, they fucking and shit. He's like, let me grab you like Harvey did. Oh, <laughs> boy. <that's laughs> like, like that. It becomes <laughs> sick. You know what I'm saying? So, like, as a man, and, and we really not used to being a docile as black men. We usually dominant, alpha as fuck. Right. Especially in these days where we don't have to take this. Yeah. Why? And he said he didn't want to ruin his uh, potential Hollywood roles. Yeah. But he said it's no sissy five shit. Now he feel courageous because the women came out speaking. Yeah, so he said he could identify with every victim that's been coming out yeah. against Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, whatever yeah. So, shout out to Terry Crews for being courageous. Yeah, <laughs> so courageous. So I mean, he said it with a straight face. 20, 20 years he, later. He really, it'll, be, it'll be like a whole bunch of grown ass black men coming up and shit. It's gonna be a commercial like when the domestic uh, violence commercials uh, came out when, <laughs> when Ray Rice beat that bitch up. Oh, and we had to watch domestic violence commercials every football game. They just shit. parade all those women across he the He ruined football for everybody because, like, women shouldn't be his. Like, that's how they would, like, a commercial, you'd be a Budweiser or some shit. It'd be some old big old nigga talking about, like, he come out the channel, like, women shouldn't be his. <laughs> and then, like, everybody. <laughs> Six out of seven women are beat. And I'm like, damn, you Ray Rice. So now this is how Terry Crews about to be. And shit is like. One out of five women. Hell yeah. Six you six talking six to your fucking friend, Charlie. Hey, you right. Right. Yeah. Charlie, you can talk to me about it. Tell me, what did he do to you? It was terrible, Frank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now we got to deal with this kind of shit because of Terry Crews want to come out. Take it to your grave, Terry. Yeah. 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 Corey, I'm at you. <laughs> if you ever got raped yeah. by a man, would you tell anybody? Nope. Keep to yourself. Hell yeah. See, he is supposed to out there get raped by a man. Yeah, I ain't never been raped by I don't know man. if he's been raped or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been raped. He's keeping it to himself. I'm just saying. First of all. You just told us you wouldn't tell us. We got to see you. We got to see you. We got to hear some shit. Ah, well, Corey's in jail. For what? Man, try to sodomize him and he kills him. Like, Terry Crews, I'm not sitting there letting no other grown man. I'm not letting no man grab my dick, first of all. Yeah, he should have fought him. He said, girl, yeah, so it's a certain yeah. age where yeah. Nambler, now, as a grown man, as a, being boy love, as a, we got one. As a, as a grown man, you're not going to come up and grab me. Yeah. Like, fuck that. I don't care fuck about no acting career, yeah. no none of that. We're fighting in the middle of that award show, ceremony, yeah. whatever it was. Like, it's going to be a commotion. Yeah. I don't yeah. give a fuck. But yeah. you can jazzy Jeff me all you want, but you're not going to come. That's yeah. Jazzy Jeff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you some real shit, though. Right. In, any, in any situation, people know how to approach it. Like any, and they have to see something to make them comfortable on how they interact. Be like, I'm going to tell you, man, white men usually ain't got no filters. Like, they just come at you with some yeah. goofy shit. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, your wife has a fat ass, bud. I know you love her. Like they ain't got no limits and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't got no, no white man filter. ain't got no filters. They ain't got no filter. Nope. Cause they comfortable and shit. They not as sensitive as we are. 
our citizens are, you know what I'm saying? We always think somebody fucking with us or something. Yep. So Terry yeah, should have seen Terry that. should have seen a little move in his shoulder and shit like that's a dick grab move. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That's how a nigga move when he's about to grab your dick <laughs> and shit. Nigga, you supposed to shake my hand while your hand way <laughs> down there. Like you should have tackled him. Should have had a flashback. He was like I said, he was fresh out the court. He's too big to be acting like that. He is too big. Pause yeah. and I mean like his muscles. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Where we at? Man, listen, we ain't going nowhere else. We about to get into our guest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of saying. Are we focused? Are we focused? I'm focused. No, because I let Corey do the camera one time. It was blurry as shit. Oh, yeah. filter. You did it one time. It was I've blurry. I've never did it blurry. Never. You ain't never been blurry and, and did it. No. Uh, <laughs> I, it's my camera. I know it works. Uh, Look inside. <clears throat> anyway, like I said earlier when we first started, uh, we had some fantastic guests. Um, I told you we got star names. Joy even got a star. Then you an anomaly. It's J O I. Joy has Joy. a name where you can just say the first name. Sabrina has a band leader name. Kalisha has a band leader name. Asad has a G high leader name. <laughs> Joy has a sleeper And then we got Corey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Corey's a killer. Corey, Corey Simon, Corey John, Corey, Corey Miller. Paul. You give him like all first names, like Corey Tracy. He don't even get a last name with it. It's like two first name Corey's. <laughs> But no, we we here with the superstars, the demeanor models, and I do call them superstars because I big up everything that's from Addison. Thank, Thank you. you. Fantastic. Addison, Thank Addison, you. Addison, Addison, Addison. Where you, you from, from Addison, Addison, too? No. Where you from? From here. Unfortunately. Not anyway, <laughs> moving along. So wrong. I love it. Yeah. It's, cool. it's like Big Anderson, so I'm okay with it. I'm but not yeah. from there. I was born here in Indianapolis. I was there when I was like 13. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. Rep your damn oh, I don't know how I feel about you now. <laughs> she was there. I, 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 was don't, know not I, feel, born I don't know how I feel about Lil' Hallville now. <laughs> Wait, no. She was See, there. I was born here, but I moved to Newcastle. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Newcastle. When I was seven. Yes. Look at that. We in the narrative shit. We in the narrative. Boy, kick it off. Boy, kick it off. Trojan. Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> Steve Alfred. I shouldn't have leave it for them and everything. Grand Dragon. Okay. You the only um, Indian person that was there. You the only Pepper. You the only fly in the. There was two. There was two of you. There was two of us on the cheerleading squad. Yeah, I was probably. Two or five in the whole school. Uh, yeah, it was a yeah. handful of us. A handful. They were integrated. This, they was with that little Ruby girl. Yeah. The little black girl who Forrest Gump picked up a book for. Forrest Gump picked up his books and shit when they were walking in there with a the National <laughs> Guard escort. You ever had any burning crosses in your yard? Yeah. But listen, listen, without much further ado, without further ado and interruptions, why don't you tell us about um, who you are and exactly what you got going on? Okay, so Demeanor Models, I started this modeling agency. Oh, I created Demeanor Models. I started the agency because I just always love modeling. I've been doing it like off and on for like 10 years. And I always enjoyed, always loved the camera. And I always wanted to like do runway and stuff like that. And I always got told no because I was only five foot. I'm only five foot tall. So... Mm. When I started the agency, I'm like, I want to, like, give everybody a chance that usually is told no. Dang. Like me. See, I'm rude. Gordon Hayward broke his ankle, but go ahead. Damn. Damn. Well, you are rude. I'm In sorry. the first game of the season. I'm sorry. I was emotional. I was emotional <laughs> response. Damn. Gordon Hayward is not as important as the meter mo models. Let me know that now. Go okay. ahead. I'm sorry. And look that up. so, um... Basically, like, all my models are different body sizes, different heights, different looks, you know, different races. Different really. genders. Well, so I'm getting to that. I want some male models. I have people interested. I'm just trying to finish my first project, which is my calendar, Demeanor Models 2018 calendar, where I've got all my models um, doing the different months. And I have, like, Miss October here, Sabrina. Hey. So Are you it's saying like football season <laughs> up in here? And the football. Okay. Elevator music. And so that's what my first project was, the calendar. So we finished that. You bring some with you? I have to get them printed. They uh, just got finished. They just, just got finished. But I can show you the pictures. But you gotta buy the calendar. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna actually like you, and I'm glad that you mentioned that Sabrina was uh, October, because it made me think about which is uh, National Breast Cancer Month. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And I just wanted to give yeah. a shout out to one of my good friends, Nisha Love, if you listen. She is a breast cancer survivor. Awesome. And then to anyone else who survived breast cancer, anyone who succumbed to it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just in conjunction with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, well, just want to give all y'all a shout out. Congratulations yes. on yes. survivors. That's yes, that's awesome. Now, are you saying demeanor, like your demeanor? Uh, yeah. Your demeanor? How'd you come up with the Demeanor. I just, like I said, I want to have different types of styles, different types of attitudes, and that's what your demeanors, demeanors are. That's pretty cool. That's pretty that's cool. Dope. So, even when you said that you started off like you always wanted to be a model, what led you to want to be like, the queen be the Heidi, Heidi Fleiss of models. <laughs> like, I'm about to get everybody, all my friends together, and we about to, no matter the shape, size, color, we about to make this happen. Like, at what point did you just come up with that? Like, when did that pop up in your head? After I had three kids. That's what happened, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let me yeah. Yeah, After let me I start had three modeling. kids, and I was like, I want to do what I want to do, too. I want to have fun. I want to follow my dream. Um... I always still like taking pictures every time, even though I took a long break after having my babies. I breastfed them all, everything. So, our listeners really want to know that too. Yes, that's they one of the questions they ask. Breastfeeding is good. Breastfeeding is good. Is it? Yes. Keep babies healthy, and shit. So, but it takes time, you know? That takes a lot of your time. So, I had a long break where I didn't model for a long time. and. You know, I'm looking at myself a gang way, you know, I'm all like, oh, everybody's still shining. I started off with L Models. Shout out to L Models. I know some of the models with them now. Yeah, I started out with them and I was in good shape then, you know. Now I'm like, oh man, I just want to like show that you can still keep doing it. Even when you've changed, your body's changed, you've gotten older, things have happened in your life. You still can keep modeling. So you you don't believe you had to be the status quo? No. Uh, five foot eleven up, no. super Six long feet. leg. Oh, That's a no. Silence two. What's been the most challenging part of like starting this? Oh. How hard is it to get people? Ah, cause I mean we all dream chasers. <laughs> like oh, we've all been around the same things and we've seen each other chasing dreams in different uh, avenues. And yeah. What's been the hardest part for you, as far as getting this up and going? Okay, getting people to be. You know, reliable, things like that, and just um, learning the business, ways to make, like, a profit. Like, I'm starting out, I don't have, like, no profit yet, but I know I'm going to get there. But helping people to realize, we're just starting out. You're not going to get, like, all these this money when you just, you know, starting to do modeling. So, um, I'm just happy that I have good people to support me and to encourage me and believe in me because they're doing it for no money most of the time and just having fun and you know there's perks to it still I have a good um sponsor that helps me out and um he has his own photography studio and design his name is coloma he's with exhibit give him a shout out i am is he local yes yeah shout him out yes he has a new studio in Noblesville, exhibits uh, portraits and designs. And um, he has helped me a lot. He designed the calendar. So, like Joy here, she's one of the photographers. She took most of the pictures, along with my sister, Angel Nance, who took some of the pictures. And then Coloma took the December shot, which was me. I'm January and December, starting and finishing it. <laughs> Boom! Damn! <laughs> And, they do, and before we just go any further and stuff, how important is it to have someone like Sabrina who you've grown up with? Oh, because no. when you talk about support, usually it's tough to get somebody who know you. Yeah. Like people who know you, they too used to you and stuff, and they don't. It's it, it's it's weird because as close as they are to the situation, it's harder for them to see than anybody. They like it's always vision. it's always people who you think would like you know they benefit the most from your success. Mm -hmm. But they they willing to contribute the least. So how valuable is your friend uh, Sabrina helping you out on something like this? Oh, so valuable, priceless. It is awesome. I was trying awesome. to make her cry. Mm -hmm. I was trying to make her cry. Yeah, I'm trying to get a tear jerk moment and shit for my rings. <laughs> she comes oh, to my yeah. meetings with me to meet. Like we're gonna be doing a video for Rico. Um, I do the chorus on that video. It's called Cheers to You. So we're gonna Rico. be doing the video. Yeah. Twelve, I can remember. <laughs> 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 
like him happy. I thought the song was called Rico, like no, the charge no, 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 or no. something. I didn't know you were talking about a person. I'm a video for Rico. He is the rapper and I'm the Ah, okay. I got and you. we're all going to be in it. So she came to the meeting with me, Sabrina did. She's you know, the video giving too. her ideas. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. she is. Mm-hmm. Even I'm if like, she yeah, was, you going to make her, huh? I'm going to make her. And, but she already agreed to this anyway, so. But um, she had, like, she came here tonight. Joy came here tonight. I'm just, like, value y'all so much. And thank you so much for all your support. And all the girls that have been supporting me. All the ladies in the um, calendar are awesome and have supported me and encouraged me all the time. They're there as much as they can be. And I know they plan to keep rocking with me. So it's awesome. I appreciate all of them. And I hope we can keep continuing this and go up more and more levels so yeah Sabrina how would you describe your role like what motivates you aside from just like how do you like see the vision yourself because like I said if it's something like you come up with yourself like just say for instance you sleep and you have a dream Mm -hmm. and you wake up and we all done it where we try to explain the dream like we know everything we saw but when we try to speak on it or try to convey it, you never can just articulate it right. right. But you know you feel it and you just wish that somebody else can feel it. Mm-hmm. Without you being asleep and being in that dream with her, how how are you able to, you know what I'm saying, see that same vision? Um, I just give her a different perspective. Like, I know what her vision is and I know where she wants to be. I just give her a different type of perspective, a different outlook on how she can achieve it. So she's not just always overwhelmed of, of this one idea or this one context. You know, there's different things to get to where you want to go. So I just give her that that little, I guess I'm a little the yin voice to her on yin. The, yeah, mm-hmm. voice on her other shoulder to just to help her, you know, put things in reality, I guess. Because we all, everybody needs reality checks sometimes. So I just help her put things in reality and perspective that. Things can be achieved. You just got to put it in a realistic goal first. Yeah, she ain't going to let nobody pull nothing over on me, okay? Mm-hmm. And that's how it's supposed to, <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to be. be. Like, people don't understand when you're trying to build something that, and you're trying to, like, I always tell people, like, I've never seen somebody win how they wanted to win. I've seen people become successful in doing cliche things like going to college and following the script. Where you win it in somebody else's arena. So when I say I never seen nobody win how they want you win, mm-hmm. it's harder for yourself to win. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And stay and stay the course. Cause you start I tell you, I done been chasing dreams and, and I get down on funds and I say, shit, I'm about to go to college, give me a student loan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I start thinking like normal. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Instead yeah. instead of like what's inside of me, man, I had to, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. kill what's inside of me and shit. And like I told myself I'm done with doing that. So when you haven't seen anybody else win, it's that much harder because mm-hmm. when you step outside the norm, outside that line, you know what I'm saying, where when you step out the line, everybody look at you like, what the fuck you doing? Right, right. Like you, when you do that, man, you got to be knowing that it's going to be ebb and flow, and ups and down, valleys and, and peaks. And, and so it's good when you have people who are willing to fly with you and sink with you and treat it all the same. Yeah. Like they treat the ups just like the downs. So that's something important to do when you're trying to basically monetize yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell people all the time, man, the most painful thing you can do is go to a job, work the hardest, and make the least. <laughs> that's like, right. When you're you the third or fourth person to see the money and shit, Boy. when you're the third or fourth person to see the money, that's painful. When you yeah. should not think about it and shit. So it's good, like, for y'all to be in this space to where you got that support system. Yeah. And then, it, but. It's always important to know that at times you got to lean on yourself harder than you can lean on anybody else. Oh, yeah, I've already realized that. Corey's like my fifth co host. Yeah. Corey's like my fifth co host. Yeah. And sometimes I don't know if he's going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get the flutter and this shit, you know what I'm saying? Nerves. But no. Um, but I have been there. You asked me. Corey's last, my shooter. Yeah. That's, that's it, Corey's the shooter. He asked me last second. I asked Corey. Like I, I had, you know what I'm saying, I got so fucking fed up with my last show that I was like, I got that strong black woman. I don't need nobody. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. <laughs> I don't need no man. I don't need no host. I don't need myself. I can't do this by myself for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can talk, but who wants to just hear me? You know what I'm saying? I'm not at a level and shit where I can just come and sit down and people just be staring and shit. You know what I'm saying? In my head, that I'm the most, you know what I'm saying, 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 I'm the most, you know what I'm saying
Fantastic motherfucker. I'm saying the most important <laughs> shit in the world. You know what I'm saying? It's a, whatever y'all say. And then once he done talking, I'm the one that matter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you done? Then I'll start talking. But so Corey, he the shooter. He been in here and shit. And then it's cool because he's dependable. And you have to surround yourself with dependable That's people right, and stuff. That's right. At the same time, depend on yourself more than you depend on anybody else. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. The greatest photographer in the world is sitting here. She doesn't have a microphone. Oh, oh man. man. What's up, Joy? What's up? How long you been? Um, like, what exactly do you do? I mean, a photographer. You take pictures. You, you, you're you a photographer, so you take pictures. That's clear. How long have you been taking pictures? Man, um, I would say about, about seven years or so. Um, I, I'm actually a graphic designer, so while going through school for that, I came across class for photography and I fell in love with it. What school did you go to? I went to the Art Institute. Ah, okay. Is that here? Mm -hmm. How did you get into graphic design? Um, I've just always loved art. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, no, when I say how did you get into graphic design, I said it like I got a kid. Yeah, I got what the fuck. What is graphic design? <laughs> explain it to my friend who doesn't know. Um, with graphic design, there are so many things you can do from web design to yeah, um, creating, to you know, like a poster, like the one behind you. So like the calendar. Logos, you can do that. Oh, calendars, you do. brochures, you know, a lot of stuff. So do you do? You I, design things like that? Because you do. have done that? Yeah. Because you have done it better? <laughs> Carlos, she's... Huh? <laughs> Carlos, listen. Yeah. Shots fired. Carlos, she'll kill you. <laughs> but anyway, dog, I like that. Shout out to my boy Carlos Duran. He's a fantastic graphic yes, designer nice. in his own right. But if I can help a local, local uh, Israelite young lady, what the fuck can I say, Carlos? <laughs> I mean, see, go more than that. But so how long... Um, like, when were you in school? Um, I graduated in like 2010. So you didn't drop out? Okay. No. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so along the way you got into photography. Yes. What kind of camera you shoot with? A Nikon. What kind of? D3400? Um, well, I mean, I, I have used that one before. Is it, is it better than D3400 when you got now? It's about, I would say, the same. I don't think your camera's the same as mine. Maybe not. Mine's a little bit better. You know Damn. what? <laughs> I'm just being. I'm just asking. I don't work for Nikon. Did you ever, did you ever I mean, shoot I club either, pictures? But so you, you ever shoot club pictures? I haven't. Oh, okay. I so what see. usually do you take pictures of outside of the meter models? Um, what I enjoy taking pictures of is oh, newborn and maternity. Oh, that's uh, dope. So that's mm -hmm. why I enjoy doing. Do you got like a portfolio or anything? I have. I do, but it's not like on the website. On uh, the website, yes. There's a photo album on the table. Well, well oh my, in my busy. computer. <laughs> <laughs> the 2017 uh, yeah. photo album. <laughs> but, um, so do you have any, like, what are your aspirations in this photography or graphic design? Like, I'm asking the same thing. Where do you see, see yourself in five years? In five years, I really plan on having a studio. Mm. That's a goal for me. Um, if not a studio, at least, um, maybe ring out one, something to that aspect. You know, where I can have people come to me. So. And what would it take for you to get there? Like, do you have, like, a set plan, like, or is it just like, shit, if somebody got some room, I'll be in that motherfucker? Well, I mean, I, I'm definitely, um, I'm, I'm definitely cautious as far as where the location um, will make a difference to me because there are, I guess, a target that I would like to go for, go for, if that makes sense. What is your target audience? Um, pregnant women. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yes. Pregnant women, babies. Destination. I'm see her outside playing period now. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. <laughs> yeah. I take pictures. I take pictures. Don't kill the baby. I take pictures. Hold on, we get some beautiful pictures. <laughs> Can't get no one no more for the hanger. Put the hanger there. Put the hanger there. That shit's for coats. My hanger's for coats. No. <laughs> No, but that's what's up, though. Um, and do you have a particular name in your company? Um, not exactly. Twenty one. Twenty one. Oh my God. JBZ. Cause I was like, it's just like he just came in my head. Like, Give me one. It gotta be Devon. It was like a smart, yeah. joyous pictures. Joyous, joyous pictures. pictures. Trademark that. Sell it to her. 
Jay on. Hey, I'm about to trade my day and get some tape. I'm gonna have your face on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna be my advertisement? No. Own in the company. Dirty, straight dirty. Wine's done. It's show I stand. So you want to take these pictures, right? Hey, sit on that couch. I saw the wisher and shit, man. No flyer and shit. And you done did the graphic design on flyers for me. Right. <laughs> but back to the demeanor. And, and that's nice, you know what I'm saying? I wish you well. And if I ever, like, need a photographer when Corey get pregnant and shit, you the first person to <laughs> call. Corey's never going to get pregnant. No, but no, but you, like, we be needing instances where we need photography and stuff. Do you yes. do any uh, videography? Uh, very little, but very I'm little. done. I'm done, so. Are you confident in your ability? You do any editing? Um, yeah. Editing is tedious, ain't it? It is. Like, it's fun, it's like, you actually get it done, but yeah. the process is a little bit deeper than people it think. It is. It's very deep. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was joy. Me. Pun intended. I'm cool as <laughs> fuck with these boy, words. You're boy. killing it today. Probably All the one line is. Hell yeah. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here every Tuesday. Every <laughs> Tuesday. But yeah, it was uh I don't even wanna say it again, but it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> it was cool. Fantastic. It's a pleasure. Yeah. But um yeah, I, I do wanna do some work with you because sometimes we need photographers and stuff. Yes. And you wanna come up so you gotta be cheap. Like you, your portfolio is right. your computer. Exactly. So you know what I'm saying? You can do, <laughs> you can do pro I'm in the barter system. I'm, I believe in barter. I believe in the barter system, you know what I'm saying? Like when we at the ground level, you can't charge like you like we balling and yeah. shit, like we all try to come up together. But I, I do plan on, you know what I'm saying, yeah, getting in contact with you, whatever. Uh, just back to the meter models, where do you see yourself in, uh, in your company in five years? Hopefully, it's an empire in five years. Where do you see yourself? Um, definitely giving my models paid gigs um, and having people calling us to be in runway shows and magazines, all that stuff, like just getting a lot of work, and TV. yes, like it would be nice to be on TV, I might be like seven years or something, I don't know. It's the internet, yeah, it's yeah, the internet, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you can create your own way Look at the TV. cash me outside chick. Don't ever do this. 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 Don't ever do yeah. Do you have any TV aspirations, Corey? I used to. Like, I used to want to act and then model. And then I was Come like... On, man. But I used to want to be on TV or in a movie. Like, I wrote a, told you See, I wrote a script. Nigga, I thought he was bullshit when he came back. He had male models. This nigga got pictures no, and shit. Nah. You know, fucking tie and shit. I actually tried out before. Like, I he come out there doing shots. shit like this. Yeah, <laughs> waving my hair and shit. But nah. Um, He's serious. I'm serious. I yeah. see these pictures. That's what's I up. The pictures is gone. Lord, Lord, Lord. You oh, always yeah. keep one with the coat over your shoulder and shit. But, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to be in a movie. I told you I wrote a script before. Yeah. So, you know, I would love to be on TV one day. Look, man, you like my And if you're so looking for your like first male like, model, you know. I'm learning so much about Corey that this is tonight. <laughs> I'm learning so much about you. We can pimp you. Can <laughs> get, we can start on Craigslist and shit. It might be a little bit gay porn just to get you in the door. You know what I'm saying? But it's just to get you on TV, man. It don't make you Thank nothing you, other than what you are. I mean, if, the, uh, if she's a uh, fine enough producer, I need to sit on the couch with her to get that role. You know, she can. Uh, uh, she has a dick cord. Uh, nah, I can't fuck with her. <laughs> but if it's a women could be in charge, it's 2017. Look at him now. He's a fair liberal. Yeah. Women can do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just flipping all over the place. Young sassy. The view is expressed by. <laughs> I don't have no TV aspirations, man. You never want to be on 
TV. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't think I do. Like, like if I, they put this show on, like, it gave the iron on, like. I said I don't have aspirations. Yeah. I don't have a fucking stupid brain. Uh, if they're going to put it on TV, of course I'm going to want to make up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly, but I'm, I'm better served in this arena. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need the. Every time I go, you know what I'm saying? Every time they see me walk down the street with somebody, they talking about he's dating. You know what I'm saying? TMZ. I'm running stop songs like when Kanye West and shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, I don't got no TV aspirations. Uh, but I do. Like, I do like doing this. I like having it. But I like being in my own environment, environment where yeah. I can't be censored. Uh, I can't lose my endorsements with Reebok. Man. Just in case I rape a bitch in Washington. But if you, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to still keep my endorsement. But if you, <laughs> if you almost kill somebody, you get your new Reebok endorsement. But he had to go to prison first, and I'm on the wrong side of 30. Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting around here waiting on child. Oh. But, um, he did too go to prison. He didn't go for murder. Wow. Shit. Eight years is still. Again, Asai has a ATL. Shout out to ATL. He's a champion. Where we at? Where we at? He's a champion. Atlanta's so tough. Yeah. But, um, um, only when I'm up north. But yeah, we gonna um this this shit done kinda went by kinda fast. It has. It went by kinda fast. Four, 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 four. I wanna tell people about the launch you party. Hold on, hold okay. On. Hold on. I feel bad because I didn't I about the you know what I'm saying? I got some stuff to say. Say all you wanna say, uh I got something to say. I got something to say. Tell us if it's cool, but be out. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> won then. Okay, so we got the launch party for Demeter Models coming up. It's going to be on November 11th um, at Good Conduct and Back or Misbehaving. Good Conduct and Misbehaving in Broad Ripple. Um, 7 to 10. That's 1,001. Robert Boulevard. 1001. 1001. 1001. Right there Sorry. on the corner. Yeah. It used to be called something else. Yeah, it did. It just changed its name to yeah. that. So I'll be up on the top floor I was like, selling my calendars and everything. I was too for my birthday. Uh, hey, no, October 12th. When is this? Uh, November 11th. Launch party for Demeter mm -hmm. Models. November 11th, 7 to 10 on the top floor of Good Conduct and Misbehaving um, in Broad Ripple. 1001 Broad Ripple Avenue. And I'll be selling my calendars there. The 2018 Demeter Models calendar is um, How much are they? $20. That's less than $2 a month. That's less than $2 hey. a month. That's less than $2 exactly. a month. So pay that $20. People throw away $20 all the time. Pay it. Because this stuff is not cheap to print. Okay? You said what? Okay. Yeah. It's not cheap yeah. to print. Um, and, you know, we've put a lot of work in it. Are yeah. you doing digital calendars also? All their digital right. calendars. Digital. It just seems like something. It'll be somebody's screensaver or something, I guess. Like right, that's something that you probably could look into. Yeah. Uh, some of the digital calendar and shit. I don't know. Um, I get no. a hat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Type that. Yeah. Put that in your uh, notes, Sabrina. But, but that's Can really people. refreshing, though, man. Because I remember, you know, what I'm saying, you hardly see people with camp, uh, calendars. Yeah. So you get what you know, what I'm saying, and I definitely support this. You know, what I'm saying, Thank I'll you. plug it on the show, or whatever. Yes, please do. I definitely put it on the refrigerator. So you can um, purchase it at my PayPal. So paypal.me slash Kalisha Hayes. K-A-L-I-S-H-A-H-A-Y-E-S. -S. You want to say it again for the slow one. Uh, so. so you can um, pay for your calendar at paypal.me slash K-A-L-I-S-H-A-H-A-Y-E-S. -S, Kalisha Hayes. And where do they see this calendar at? Like where so, will they go? I think it'll yeah, I will I'm gonna have it like on a website. Okay. Post it. My um designer is working on that for me. He does websites as well. I gotta get this cool where I can say shit like my designer, my photographer. Oh. I gotta boss up. I gotta get my levels up and shit. I'm not can, can shit. people locked down by your calendar, you know, they always into by calendars. That's locked, locked down. down. If yeah. they can get to a PayPal account idea. and I can yeah, ship that's it, it, if I can ship it, oh, you can ship. You can ship it. It's just yeah. would it would it be accessible for them to buy the account? If they can get on the internet, yeah. you can have their relatives. You can have it. Yeah, oh, we enterprise. Yeah, we're trying to get Sabrina. Get no bag. Get no bag. We take all money. <laughs> yeah. 
anybody, man. But we're gonna be yes, we're gonna be selling it at the launch party as well. So okay. you can buy it at the launch party. You can actually purchase it before the launch party and not have it at the launch party ready for you to pick up. Uh, okay. Really. Um. So what else do I want to say? I think that's it. Wait a minute. Do I got anything else? So our Facebook is uh, Demeanor Models. And you spell that D-E-M-E-A-N-O-R Models. And um, our Instagram is Demeanor underscore Models. Okay. That's how I don't have a Facebook. I'll put a little raincoat on. Jokes on us. May is Mercedes. She's got the, you know, Mercedes from No. Limit. no. Oh. <laughs> so you got her. 8,500. Oh. June is Miss Rochelle. She is um, representing, you know, Pride Month. Not on this show. Uh -uh. Yeah, she is too. Not she got the show. rainbow. <laughs> Not on this show. In June. And July is Latoya. This, this is Harrison month. This is my birthday month. We will not be as great June. American flag. <laughs> chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know, cute. August is Miss Tiffany Renee. She is our plus size model. She's looking really great in her, you know, little summer gear bikini. In August? Yes. August. Okay. Is it still hot then? September hmm. is Miss Danae. She's got on, you know, the little sweater dress and stuff. She's looking good too. Really great model. Um, October is Miss Sabrina right here. Mm -hmm. Got the football gear going on for football season. Shout out to the Cowboys. <laughs> Shout out to the Saints. We Shout out to the Panthers. <laughs> Shout out to the Colts. Think we think we beat the Panthers this year. Yeah, still Don't. November oh, is Miss Victoria. She is um, rocking, like, you know, like got the leaves all around her. Really pretty, great. Just the leaves. Shout out to Captain Planet. I mean, uh, Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Shout out to Captain Planet. Eco friendly. Yeah. Lawyer. And December is me. What do December and January got on? January, I've got like this fur coat on with some shorts. Just a fur coat? Like, oh, look, Kim. And a see through, like, you know, bodysuit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I got a fish name. Tall boots. Tall boots. Tall boots. Tall boots. Tall boots. Tall boots. That's what you got on in December, just the fur coat? Dece no, that's January. December is, I got on like the sweater, like I'm going to sleep or something with the socks, high uh, socks, and ornaments. You, it's, Everybody say that's their favorite one that I've shown. Uh, I want to like, say really? January. Maybe because it's the first one I show them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so, I still think I think October my favorite one because like I got a soft spot for October the uh, breast awareness month. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to yeah. shout, well, again, shout out to those She took a very I, good She took a very good I'm gonna roll with December because it's my birthday and okay. then January. Wait till you that's see how, That's how that's how much the, the most high hate you, nigga. Sneak, he made you in the coldest stupid month. I give y'all a sneak month. preview. <laughs> <laughs> he made you in a stupid month. <laughs> and then January because of the fur coating, the boots on. <laughs> I know I didn't hear that right, but that's in my mind. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's what you got on. In the what, January? Yeah. Fur coat, yes. And yeah, the boots. Like I'll give you when he, when he, When he model and shit, he's going to have on that same shit. He's going to have on that same <laughs> shit. Thank you. I took that picture. Oh, no, I took January. I took January. Hey, she look good. Who's that? That's me. Did you show January? No, no, no. That's February. Yeah. I took that one. The one with the fur coat. <laughs> uh, the one with the fur coat's right here. That's me. The cover hardcore. Thank you. That's what's mm -hmm. Lizards can't see the calendar. It's a nice calendar. Um, don't forget the information where that she gave. I'm gonna get the information from her. And I'm gonna share it again on the Casita Nobody fan page. Y'all don't okay. like it. Y'all go to Facebook like the Casita Nobody fan page. I uh, deactivate my regular fan page. Cause they treat me like shit. They think they do it laugh for free and don't come and listen to my show. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Who took these pictures? You took these pictures? I took like half of them. My <laughs> photographer Joy. She's <laughs> taking half of these pictures. <laughs> and Angel, my sister too. Yeah, Angel, Angel took the other Joy half. Joy had a baby in the summer, so she yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Uh, yeah, this past summer. Joy, yeah, like she could walk off Andrew. Yeah. Like she could just walk off Andrew and yeah. shit. Finish time with a baby. I mean, hey, what? They was have a baby. You know, like babies all the time. Yeah, women have babies all the time. What'd you have? I would have seen a woman a give herself a sonogram. I've seen a woman just. <laughs> <laughs> did you take a picture of your newborn? I, I did. Ah, okay. That's dope. Aww. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. What's your name, her? Her name is Fallon. Fallon. She's white. She had a baby that was born white. My born white. <laughs> <laughs> born white. Fallon from the valley. Mom's a photographer. <laughs> 
Hey. Whoa, your family's mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. But no, that's a dope name. Tell me a shot. Up. Fallon. Yeah, little see. black girl gonna raise her hand. No, no, put your hand down, black girl. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Fallon. <laughs> You're not Fallon. With what else? You wish you um, so, I just want to say that Demeanor Miles is all about bringing out the beauty and handsomeness in every one and like bringing out their true potential. If you have a passion for modeling, that's all I'm looking for in confidence and you know, just really taking it serious. You know, I'm there, I'm, I'm on it, and I have a lot of people interested. And I hope that you know, I have a lot of models up, you know, rolling with me. Let me know if you, uh, interested. I'm gonna tell y'all, tell y'all lame in terms of what she said. <laughs> Even if you ugly as fuck. Yeah. But you can't. We gotta bring your interview, we gotta bring your interview to y'all. No, not like you think you ugly, but you just being called ugly your whole life. Yeah. yeah. But you know you got confidence and shit. Some people aren't confident. If you ugly and you, and you want the cameraman all in your way, your photo all shoot, your video. all in your video, <laughs> cut a demeanor model. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just saying, I, I'm just I, being, I I'm want to like, help everybody. Yeah, and, that, and that's, that's having changes and shit. And I hope that people, <laughs> I hope that people <laughs> test themselves to it. Old people, ain't like, not my ugly. Whatever. Yeah, but we look yeah. for ugly. Yeah, because it's a, it's a, it's it a, it's a, it's a, it's a we got a month for you that's called. Yeah. That's called February, April. <laughs> you know, we're going to make you a month. But if you get February 30th. Hell yeah. But uh, no, shout out to Demeter Models. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Enjoy his, enjoy his pictures. Uh, <laughs> we look forward to seeing both of these brands grow and expand. And I hope in five years you have your studio. Me where too. all the people coming from out of town. They, and they ain't a man for a photographer. And they come straight to you. And I hope that. Bless you know what I'm saying? Y'all on TV and stuff. Y'all doing what y'all do and y'all killing it and y'all inspiring everybody to uh, chase their dreams. And I, I believe that these things can happen as long as y'all keep y'all best foot forward. I've never said that in my life. And I feel oh, fucking like cool, your best foot forward. I ain't never said that, but... Do you feel like a counselor now? I kind of feel like I'm on an 80s TV show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Chip, you gotta keep your best foot forward. Sure, Dad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But no, you know what I'm saying? I wish y'all well in y'all endeavors, man, and I, like, uh, I look forward to uh, seeing y'all succeed. Thank you. Uh, anything that Joy or Sabrina want to say before we cut out? I just think you got a good thing going on, and we wish you, from Demeanor Models, wish you the best in all Yes. Y'all wish y'all. Dang. It should be y'all. I wish y'all. It's you as well, Corey. Pipe down. Pipe down. Pipe down. That's how I get. Yeah. 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 Show like this, but no, anytime y'all want to use this platform, like to promote, uh, I, I definitely want to promote your party. The show. And this go for you too, Joy. Anytime, if you want to come, you know what I'm saying, bring your put pictures in here and shit, some free graphics or whatever you want to give me, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. But like I said, uh, wish y'all well. Anything you want to say? Um, yeah, um, my little brother and nephew is having a product release that I'm going to this Saturday. What is it? What product is it releasing? Ah, uh, it's a clothing line. Man, I swear I thought you were going to say some pure pleasures. Ah, uh, nah. What's that shit that y'all used to say when women gave up on our dreams? You don't want to sell Avon? When she was selling dildos and stuff? Oh. Uh, pure passion for her. I thought he was going to say we were having pure romance. Pure no, boy. I know what it is. He actually got a, uh, it's a, it's a dope clothing line that he has. Uh, WDRFA, it stands for We Don't Run From uh, ever, blah, 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 from uh, Adversity. Uh, they have shirts, jackets, beanies. Like, it's it's pretty, pretty dope. So, they partnered with a local beverage company, and they said they'll come talk on the show we one day. We need to get their information. Yeah, there. come. Uh, it's this Saturday from 12 to 4 at uh, Print Text. You might go because it's a graphic company, you know. They, they're looking for people, too, so, you know. Slide there, but it's at 652 East 52nd Street. I'll be there, you know what I'm saying, support my brother, my nephew. Where is this at? On um, 52nd and College. It's 652 East 52nd Street. When is this? Saturday, October 21st, from 12 to 4. But yeah, I just um just show that like they got dope product. Um, you can find them on Instagram at Where Is Mike G. He's been in Nuvo a bunch of times. Really proud of the young dude. Especially where he came Shout from. Shout out to you, Mike. And uh, my little brother, name? Mike. Uh, the his uh, standalone seventy three is there Instagram, like where you can see all the pieces or whatever. But like you know, standalone seventy three is like one word. Yep, standalone seventy three. And where is Mike G? Like 
pretty dope with this. It uh got shout out to Zeke. Fuck Zeke. Dang. He he put on my emotion. Fancy team fucked up. We in shambles. Uh, but uh, in closing, I want to say shout out to everybody who listened. Shout out to our guests again, the men and models enjoying his pictures. Uh, shout out to Corey for always being my shooter. Shout out to my homeboy Sal oh, for, uh, for yeah. hitting, hitting the camera for me and shit. He didn't do it like he's supposed to. Shout out to my lovely daughter, Destiny. Hey. What's up, baby? Hey, uh, <laughs> I give you the Come here, come here, come here. Don't act crazy. I don't think you're crazy. Don't think you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it, nice this, stuff. Yeah. This is my baby right here. That's my baby. That's my dad. Why are you doing something? No, no, no. I... <laughs> and she's out of control. Who the best? Thank you. But, uh, yeah, thank you everybody for listening. We look forward to seeing y'all next Tuesday. And she said, I'm the greatest in the whole wide world. And I, I don't dispute that. Okay. But uh, we look forward to seeing y'all next Tuesday. Same. That's if y'all know anybody who want to be part of our show, Battle of the Sexes, yeah. we'll have a platform where men and women dis- uh, discuss going back and forth. different things. It's going to be real control. When is we, this going to be? Yeah. We're trying to set up the panel to get, first off, we're not so much years. You know, he's more Mike. But we just trying to set it up to where we can get enough people who are cohesive thinkers and don't just yeah. merge shit out. And we just trying to, uh, it's going to be fun. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be light, but it's going to be serious topics at the same time. And we just trying to set up the panel and stuff. Y'all know anybody who would be interested in sitting on this panel, uh, y'all can let me know or whatever. Uh, I look forward to that being a great show. But I'll keep saying we're going to wrap it up and shit, and I'll keep talking. <laughs> but we're going to wrap this up. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Conceited Don't Buy. It. Peace. Bye. Bye.